everybody. Welcome to my little corner where there is no wrong way to play with paper. And today we're doing day 18 of Christy's Beautiful Life, 30 Days of Sketches that she has going on right now this month. I will have everybody's links below as I do every day. And we're just going to start playing. Now, if you watched me do my page kits, you know where all my papers and photos came from. So I'm not going to go over that. And I'm just going to kind of play. Usually I have the base page 100% ready to go and we just embellish. But I don't know how this is going to work because I did not want to cut this photo down to a hexagon. I didn't. I love all the pumpkins in the back. I like the trees and his little smirk. This is my oldest son, James, a.k.a. JJ. Um, I'm the only one that gets to call him JJ apparently as a grown man. <laughs> I've always called him that, so that's that's the way it's going to be. And so I'm just going to play. I am going to set this aside for reference, but I don't know that it's going to turn out like this. I mean, I was inspired by a nice background, which I love this background, which I discussed in the um, page kit share. And I do like the idea of hexagons. I just don't know where it's going to go to make my photos fit. So I actually have three photos and I do have all these goodies over here. There's all these ones are the ones I've been playing with in the previous videos this week. And then I did pull out some of the ephemera. We'll see what happens. Um, I did cut this down to like a half one thinking maybe I could stick it down here or something. If it doesn't make it, if you've seen the other layouts, I have lots of pumpkins. It's not the end of the world. I just like this one because it does have... Um, a background of pumpkins, and it has my handsome boy in there. All mamas think their boys are handsome. Now, I just took some hexagon dies, and I cut out this photo, and then I just cut out, out of some scraps. I did pull out my 6x6 six six pad that went to this, and um, again, was in the page kit. Um, did a couple of the burgundy ones, because I think these match really well. And I do like the B side too, so I don't know. Even though they are kind of um, detailed, I don't think anyone would notice if I put them over. We'll see what happens. All right, so they have everything kind of here in the middle, and then they have some banners and arrows. I know I'm not doing the arrows, but I do think that I'm going to try to stay somewhat in the middle towards some way. I don't know. I honestly don't know. So let's just start playing. That's what I do. Trial and error. Um, we'll see how it goes from there. And we'll see what happens. Okay. So now I have a couple of title options. I still have this Fall Blessings. And then I was thinking, you know, I don't always need a big title. I could do Hello Fall, Beautiful Fall Day. I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know that these are quite big enough. But I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I do like this one. I've Obviously, I keep bringing it back for each page kit, but hasn't made it yet. Has not made it yet. But we'll see. We could stagger. What if we were to bring this down just a little more? And I'm just going to do trial by error. Maybe there's some small ones. Maybe if we were to go like this and like this, right? So then... Or even like that, maybe. I'm not 100% sure. I could even go like that. And then tuck these smaller ones in or around. Um, we would do that. Could go like that. I love this pumpkin. Still love it. What would happen if we were to... Now things will move because I don't have anything tacked down, so... Just kind of bear with me. You know at the end I will step away and I will glue it all down and we'll make it work. Could even go this way. We'll see. Like that. That might work. Okay. Not hating it. Not hating it. Alright, so now I think I need to get some of these smaller ones in here. Maybe here. Okay. Try to leave this corner open. Um, not really sure if that's going to happen or not, but we can try, right? Mm, I'm not sure about that either. Pull some orange. 
over here and some brown over this way. There's no wrong way to do it. It doesn't have to be perfect. You could even maybe go like that. Okay, and then use a small green one. Hmm. Maybe. That looks good. Sort of, kind of. We don't have to stagger them. I mean, we could overlap them. If I were to rearrange these like this. All right, I think I kind of like that better. Maybe. I don't know. Hmm. Just gonna play. I'm actually filming this on Thursday because we have to make an emergency trip to Fort Worth. Uh, my dad's granddad is having an emergency heart, open heart surgery. So I'm trying to keep my obligation, but hopefully, um, yeah, it's just kind of sad. Wonderful man, pretty healthy for his age. So, um, you know, we're really blessed there. Maybe set these side too. We'll we'll just pray. That's what we can do, right? That's what we can do. I'm just having a hard time. I don't think I like that. Okay. I do like that a lot better. I don't know about this one. Maybe I should just omit this one. We'll see. Okay. Kinda sorta. I don't even know if these are gonna end up this way. I'm kind of trying to put the focus on this photo. That's why I'm tucking them under there. Um, okay, they're there. I like that. Oh yeah, that's way better. Okay, I like that. I don't know about this one. I think this one is the way I'm struggling. I like that better. Okay. We're going to go with that and see where we can go. Um, what I started to say is he's a really strong man and it should be okay. They couldn't put stents in, so they have to do open heart surgery. So, of course, we are family is first. And while I do try to keep my obligations, I don't know. Something might happen this weekend. I might not be able to get it all done. But we'll see. We'll see. Um, a wonderful man. Definitely a lot of fun memories, even for my children. It's a blessing to be able to have great grandparents. I hope my kids, I hope my kids see that and know that. All right, so I think I'm wanting to tuck some pumpkins. Hmm, I feel like maybe I should have some down here. Maybe that's what I should do. Maybe I'm focusing too much. Oh, where's those little ones? Oh no. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Oh, goodness. Okay, so what if I were to do that and then I brought these down here? Oh, see, I kind of like that. Yeah. Maybe even bring this one down. We'll see what happens. Just have two like that. Then it kind of goes this way. And um, we'll see. We'll see. I could change it again. I'm not going to make no promises yet. Um, I like that. I'm just going to start tucking some things in here. Oh, that's right. There's these. I forgot. These are the ones Josie made. Um, love these. Well, I could take this one and put it on foam right there. Maybe stick this here it down some. You can always ink things too, right? And put this one here. Put that one on foam so it stands out a little bit. Oh, I'm liking this little cluster of this little cluster of uh, pumpkins. Oh, how cute is that? Kind of like the photo, right? There's all kinds of, now I'm kind of covering this entire hexagon up, but I guess that's okay. No rule. Maybe 
pull these over. Thinking I might ink all of these pumpkins, aside from this big one my hand is on, I think it might help them stand out. Yeah, I think I will. And one here. So then, I know there's four there, but I mean, I could take one away, put it here, I guess. That's okay. I kind of wanted to do, no, I really like this one here, so I'm gonna put it back. I hate it when I don't have at least some parts of it tacked down, because I just think it makes it harder to, um, you know, tuck things in. And I do like to tuck things in. Wonder, wonder if I have any other pumpkins. Maybe a little pumpkin. Let's see, where are the other parts of this kit? Let's see what we got here. Um, I do have those. Let's see here. Oh, there is some pumpkins here. This one says fruit though. So not, I guess that's an apple. It's not really a pumpkin. <laughs> oh goodness. Give thanks and all things. Okay, well, let's see what we got here. I'm not sure about this one still. Love this. I'm not getting rid of this. I mean, I could punch some stuff out with this. Um, what if I were to... Autumn Blessings, that's that's cool. I like that. And I love this green. So what if I pulled this over? Have these hexagons coming out around it, right? And then did this pumpkin. That's okay. I, I'm okay with it on his shoulder. And I can always scoot that just a hair. Maybe. Let's see. This one says Farmer's Market, today and tomorrow. I like that too. I mean, it's kind of big though. This one says Memories. It's going the wrong way though. I mean, who's to say? It doesn't, I wish it went this way because I'd probably like tuck it right there. But it's the wrong, the wrong direction. I mean, I guess I could... Oh look, here's one, it says Grateful Heart. This one says Pumpkins. Could stick this one in here, just like that. I could fishtail that, I could fishtail this one. Ooh, the possibilities, <laughs> right? Okay. I really do like this one too. I'm wondering if I shouldn't tuck this underneath here. No. Ooh, I like that though. Okay, maybe just have three pumpkins here. I wanted to say Autumn Market still. And I could take this one. I like the different variety of pumpkins because pumpkins are like snowflakes, right? No two are alike. But I am wondering if I should put this green one here instead of orange on orange. I'm holding this down just so it doesn't move a whole lot. Okay. I like that. And if I inked all these elements, I think that would help a lot. So I'm going to go with that. And I could, instead of this, fish, no, I think this fishtail here would be good. I'm kind of liking that. Okay, fall is in the air. Let's make sure I don't want to use any of these others. No, no, no. I do like that one, but I don't think so. I'm kind of liking this. What about these squirrels? I've never got these squirrels in there. I wonder if I could. I think I'm going to go ahead and fishtail these. A banner. Okay. Right, maybe I could stick this one down here. That looks cute, but then that's the odd thing. Hmm, I got all these old squirrels from yesterday. Well, was it yesterday or earlier? I don't know. The days are all running together. 
I could just put a little squirrel right there. That would be cute. I could even stick him over here somewhere if I wanted to. I mean, he is a puffy. He's probably not even that sticky at this point. Right there. Look at that, that's cute. Okay, there's a little squirrel. Maybe, I might move him down here. We'll see. Fishtail this and could definitely put him there. That's cute too. And then let's get some scissors and fishtail this. Okay. Not perfect. Nothing ever is, right? I like that. And we could put this guy right there. Tuck him in there. Just like that. That's cute. <laughs> That's so cute. I like that. I might I might move him and stick him down here, but definitely like this. I'll fish tell this real quick. make anything into a banner if you want. I might. Come on, work with me. I will move it around so you can see the hexagons more. Um, like push that, this one over more. Okay, so I think that's gonna be it. I mean, I do like this little guy. I wonder if I couldn't fit him in there somewhere but I think I might be pushing it. I, I could maybe put him in here. No, he doesn't need to go behind the pumpkins, Ginger. Think about this. Where could you put this? I mean, that's a lot of embellishments. I think I'm gonna stop. Okay, I'm gonna go glue it down, add some enamel dots. I have these enamel dots. I'm really thinking this color. I don't know, maybe a mix of all three colors would work really well. Okay, I will be back and we will go over it. All right, guys, I'm back. I got it all glued down. Here's our sketch. And I did move some things around. I, I kind of rearranged where this was. I brought it down because I do want to be able to see the hexagons. And I wish this one was a little bit more, but I, you know, the photo's what's always supposed to be the focus. So, while I did move it around a little bit, I did move the squirrel. I didn't like this coming out of his bum, literally. I mean, it's not the best, but it's not horrible. And I moved the little squirrel on the um, title. Did put some enamel dots, might see some glue. It might not 100% be dry, but I think it turned out okay. I like it. I have a lot on my mind. You know how that goes. Um, yeah, so if you feel like you should please pray for my husband's granddad. You know, it's always kind of a scary thing. Open heart surgery when you're going on 80 is, is scary. So, but he's a healthy farmer and a go-getter. So it should be okay. It should. God's will will be done. All right. With that said, tomorrow we will do day 18. I might film it today and then post it then just in, in case. But um, I will do my very best to keep going this weekend. If I don't, it is because we had to leave. So, and I wasn't able to fit it all in and get everything ready. And you know, for our mamas, a trip is stressful. <laughs> it is, it's not fun. <laughs> okay, well you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thanks for letting me gab. And you know, every video, I'm not always gonna be happy-go-lucky, but this is definitely my de-stress time. And I appreciate you more than you know. I love your comments. Please continue to comment. If this is your first time, I'd be honored if you'd like and subscribe and hang out with us again. And with that said, I hope you're very blessed and have a wonderful day. Bye.